Greetings, survivors. I want to do uh, an explanation on um, uh, a more uncommonly used feature of the various tripwires and sensors, um, trigger plates in Seven Days to Die. So I'm using a couple of tripwires here. Um, I want to make sure. Oh, wrong pole. I want to make sure that um, it's clear which which tripwire is triggering what. So I'm going to wire this here, then to this strip wire post, and I'm going to connect each strip wire post to a light so that it's clear which side is being triggered, and then to the blade trap. So, of course, if I stand on the tripwire, the blade trap turns on. But by the time I get there, it's off, so it won't hurt me. Now, there is um, there are options on tripwire, which I can say, for instance, that it's going to stay on for five seconds. So, if I stand here now, this is still working and will hurt me. And I can also change this, change the option to put a delay on the tripwire. So for instance, if I put a, I think a one second delay should be enough. Uh, say if I'm being followed by zombies and I run, it only turns on after I pass because it's on for more than one second. And the, the five second delay, it has another advantage in that because this actually takes damage, as it does damage, if you limit the amount of time it's on, then it will do some damage to the zombie, but then turn off and the zombie will continue to proceed to other traps you might have. So that's the options of power delay and power duration. I hope this helps. Um, thank you for watching.